hello everyone and welcome back so today we are going to discuss about operator and value uh, uh, option in uh, data access control so how our permission table will look like is it will have these many columns and how you need to maintain or create it is permission id will be your key so each um, id will represent one unique record over here so you can name it like using any alpha uh, numeric character uh, based on the naming convention that your organization is uh, requesting to follow so that is how you can name your permission id so this is just a unique identifier for a particular permission line in this table user id is your identity provider like uh, either the user is being identified or logging using uh, the email id or the user id so then here you can maintain it accordingly now restriction is uh, uh, one of the important field which you need to know this is also a alphanumeric um, column but here you can create multiple restriction per users okay so let me tell you how it works so first two are restriction one uh, you can name it like res1 or r1 or anything like uh, as an alphanumeric but because these two are the same that means whatever criteria or operators you will give it will act as an and and operator that means sales organization is equal to emia and partner id between this and this so this is one restriction altogether okay and then when you have restriction two it's a or operator like or creation date is greater than uh, equal to 2019-0101 that means you can have multiple restrictions but each re unique restriction um, will have an and operator for the criteria and two different restrictions will have an or operator okay this is how the restriction will work right? so you I, I can explain you like this uh, for we have restriction 001 because this is very uh, important to understand that is why I am trying to make it uh, very simple and then we have a restriction 002 now here you have sales organization as one criteria and this will be and operator and partner ID is so this is your restriction one and then you have or operator and here only one credit because there is only one criteria then it is created same name I will give so created so this is the criteria now here if you will have multiple criteria like restriction to you have another thing like partner id should be between so and so then that will be and and then the respective criteria so restriction one with criteria using the and operator like criteria one and criteria two and criteria three and criteria four and so on and restriction one with criteria one and criteria two and criteria two and this together having an OR operator. So this is how um, the restriction works. I'll delete this. So hope this is clear. If not, then you can put your questions in the comment section because this is really important to understand. And what is criteria? Criteria is um, the field that you are going to use in your uh, table. So accordingly, you can uh, name your criteria like sales organization, partner ID, company code, or whichever you are using for your restriction operators are basically how um, uh, the given operators um, is needed for your uh, requirement so we have these many operators available like if you give all or star then it will provide access to all the records without any restriction to that uh, value um, yes you can use um, equal operator for equal not not equal to greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to these are very common cp is used um, for patterns where you can give the pattern for the first value or oftenly you can also use the second value uh, to set an 
escape character then bt you can use for between and you can put the first value and second value which we have used in our example here you can see the between values we have used okay so this is about the how we can create our permission table so let's move to the system so i have created my permission table i have named it as uh, dac underscore operator value it's a kind of a dimension table and i have made my permission id as a key and the rest of the columns are there as i explained uh, in the excel so it's already being deployed uh, the same data that we uh, saw in the excel now i'll move to data access control and we'll try to uh, create one data access control based on this uh, permission table So this is our data access control. Now we will select the structure as operator and values. Uh, we will name our data access control something like DAC operator operator and value, something like this. And then we can select our permission entity, which is the DAC operator value table, which we created just now. and our identifier column is the user id so we will select the user id owner we can um, assign anyone as an owner if required restrictions we will put the restrictions criteria we will select the criteria column okay and then we can use uh, the operator as the operator column first value is the first value second value column is the second value so we have all all these are mandatory you need to put one important thing is like here in the available criteria you have an option so for example uh, you have created multiple restriction but in case you don't want to use the second restriction which was on creation date then you can uncheck this option and then the, whatever restriction we have on the creation date will not work uh, will not be applicable okay but here we want to have all the restrictions applicable so i'll select all and i'll click on uh, deploy so our data access control has been deployed now now we will open our view to test the data access control we created so we have opened our view on which we are going to apply our data access control so we'll uh, go to the properties and add data access control from here. We'll select the DAC that we just created and click on select. Once selected, we'll map the criteria to the respective fields. So create date is one of the criteria. Partner ID is another criteria and sales organization is the third criteria that we have so it is mapped now we will deploy the solution so it's deploying so deployment has started let's wait once the deployment completes and then we will test the data so it's deployed now Let's check the data. So the table contains around 334 records, but based on the data access restriction that has been given, I'll be able to see only few of them. So around 135 records coming. So first criteria was either the sales organization. So sales organization should be EMEA and partner id should be between 5 to 10 so you can see all are emia and between 5 to 10 okay let's go down let's go down further down okay so so from here you can see it is neither emia and nor the partner id is 10 it is 19 the reason is because our second criteria was if the creation date is 2019 then it will show greater than uh, 1st january 2019 
so here you can see all are greater than 1st January 2019 that is why irrespective of the sales organization and uh, partner ID these records are coming up so our dest data restriction is working perfectly fine so this is how you can create uh, your operator and value uh, based data access control and apply to your view or model so this was it for today's session hope you like the video and hope it is pretty much clear like how you can create the permission table for operator and value thing so in the next session we will see like how we can use hierarchy for our data access control till then stay tuned have a nice day bye bye